In this Kotlin on Android development tutorial, we're going to show you how to download and display an image using the Glide version 4 library. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so in the previous tutorial we used Picasso to download and display an image. Now we're going to use Glide. This is a direct follow-on from that tutorial. In fact, if you want to get the code from that tutorial to start this tutorial, I've um, listed it, the uh, uh, URL, URL of where it resides in GitHub. And so you can just download that code there and start the tutorial straight away. Or else you can go to the previous tutorial here, which will have a link, the Picasso tutorial. And you can just follow that tutorial um, up to a certain stage just here. And that will give you the starting code for moving forward in this tutorial. Anyway, we'll go back to the other one. And also the members on the professional plan do get access to a video guide showing them how to get the source code from GitHub as well. Okay, so we'll make a start here. Um, first of all, we're going to need to add the Glide dependencies here. So I'm just going to copy and paste the ones down here and put them into my Android Studio build.gradle file. So let's copy those. Um, go into my Android Studio. Here we are there. Now open up my build.gradle file. It's the module one there, the app. And if we just go down here and paste the uh, files in the bottom here. Um, let's go back. We're also going to need one more thing from here. And that's the Kotlin uh, stroke cat uh, plugin as well. Um, so that's what we'll require that for the second part, which is uses the cap there to get hold of the Glide compiler. So go back into Android Studio. So at the top here, we can add another plugin. Apply plugin, Kotlin, cat. Okay, now we're going to have to resync it. Wait for that to complete. Okay, the Gradle sync's now completed. We're seeing something new here. We are seeing a warning. And it looks like Glide version 4 is using the very latest libraries from Android OS. So there is a conflict with the existing um, libraries currently installed on this application. So what I'm going to do is just update those this library here to version 27 here. I'll try that again. Change that to zero. And that's two. Oh. Okay, I'm also going to have to update my SDK version as well to 27. And we'll set the target SDK to 27 as well. Just so we've got all the latest. Now we'll have to run the sync again. Okay, now we can start working the source code. Um, first thing I'm going to do here, Glide version 4 does require you to set up a another class so just from here, I'm going to create a new Kotlin class. It's going to be a class. And I'm just going to call it my app glide module. You can call it whatever you like. That's going to have to extend app glide module. And that does require a constructor, but we don't need the braces for Kotlin. Okay, and we do need to add the Glide module here as well. The Glide module annotation here as well. Okay, this is required just so we can get access to the version 4 libraries, Glide libraries. Okay, now we can go into the main activity. And I'm just going to add a 
oh, we'll just put it down here. I'm just going to add a new function where we actually do the downloading and loading, the downloading and displaying the image. Let's make it private. And I'll just call load image using glide. Okay, and we're going to call glide, and for version 4 it's glide app with, and we can just pass the activity context, and we'll just call load first, and again it's going to be the URI where we format our image URL. And one thing we're going to do here is I'm going to add a as bitmap. So basically I'm going to instruct Glide that we want a bitmap returned here. And finally it's going to be into. And we're going to I'm going to use an object expression here. Uh, Kotlin object expression where we can pass an anonymous class. And it's going to be the bitmap image view target. And I'm purely setting up this uh, object expression so I can get a callback so I know when to turn off our chronometer. Okay, this does take a constructor and afterwards we'll put it in some braces. And uh, actually, I'm going to call it on resource ready. And I'm getting an error there. Oh, inside the constructor here, we also need to do need to pass in our view that we're going to be loading as well. Okay, and finally, we can just call the chronometer stop. So it's just basically a callback indicating to us when the image is being loaded, so we know how when to stop the chronometer. And of course, here we need to pass the image view as well, just to indicate which uh, the image view that gets loaded, the bitmap gets loaded into. Okay, we just need to do one more thing here, and that's calling that from inside our on-click listener and inside our button. Okay, those should be the only things we need to change. I don't see any errors, so we'll just run this and see what happens. Okay, the application's now started, so I'm gonna press the download button. And as you can see, the image has been now downloaded and displayed in approximately two seconds. And that concludes this tutorial. I think the biggest issue was this one, was the conflict that we saw between the Glide version 4 libraries with our, what we currently had within our project library files. We did need to update everything to version 27. We also had to create a blank uh, class just to implement the uh, Glide app module and add an annotation for that just so we could access those new version 4 APIs. After that it was just a simple method of doing the Glide call. We were specifying that we wanted a bitmap return back and we were able to add a callback to be notified of when the resources were ready just so we knew when to stop that chronometer. And so that concludes this tutorial. If you want to get hold of this documentation, it is free. You just need to sign up to the free YouTube membership. There will be a description and a card in this video. And if you do want to get hold of all these videos, they're currently available to the members on the professional plan for $10 a month. So not only do those members get all these videos, they also get the help of video here, uh, describing and explaining and demonstrating how to download the code and get the code to start this tutorial as well as the code that at the end of the tutorial as well so that covers everything on github and all the material all the uh, videos on the professional plan are ad free don't have any ad and they also include bonus videos of where we debug the code at the end just to explain exactly what's happening on a line by line basis anyway that concludes this tutorial thank you for taking the time for watching bye for now